Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another episode. We've got a very, 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 very special episode for you guys. I'm excited. This is a project uh, that I've been working on planning for quite some time now. We are going to be making a secret, super secret, as I'm posting it on YouTube, but secret vault inside of my garage. So where we're planning on putting it is right here. It's going to go from this beam here across this way to basically the edge of that window. It is going to be an eight by eight. Now I know that's not that big. And originally I had planned on really making it from window to window. So then it would be like 16 by eight, which would be a little bit bigger. But the goal with this is to have a place to store all my pew pews. That's the idea. Um, and, and ammunition, anything really to do with hunting. I mean, like right now, this is the dangle that we've got going on. Uh, not the best way to take care of your pews out here, kind of in the elements, these garage doors open and stuff like that. And well, um, you know, they get rusty. So we're gonna build a room with a locking door, keypad, steel door, something that's ultra reinforced to protect the valuables that I'm gonna put here. But that way it's in the shop. I mean, most people put vaults and stuff inside their house, but I wanted it in the shop since I'm always out here and I'm always working. So that's the plan today. But before this video gets started, I wanna say huge thanks to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. Well, folks, here we go. This is where we get into the fun stuff here. So this is my box, jam packed, filled with all things security. Brought to you by Simply Safe. So we're gonna walk through it, talk to you guys a little bit more about what Simply Safe is and what they can do to protect your guys' home. And then we are gonna get into building the ultimate hidden pew pew vault, security vault inside the shop. And then we're gonna, once it's completely built and done and finished, we are going to rig it up with everything that is inside this box to make sure it is protected, secured for life. Simply Safe is incredibly effective, reliable home security that will make sure your home is safe. You can order online or over the phone and it's delivered right to your door and takes less than an hour to set up. They have sensors to cover every window, room, and door, plus lots of extras like water sensors, temperature sensors, and HD cameras. You just stick the sensors exactly where you want them and from there your home is professionally monitored 24 seven for just 50 cents a day with no contracts. And the best part is if anything happens, they call the police for you. That is what Simply Safe is and what they can do for you. So this is what they sent to me to completely protect the new vault that we are going to that we're going to be building. So first things first, we've got the base station. This is this is the hub. This is the home. Um, this is what everything relies on to function. Then we've got this guy right here, which this is a smart lock. Uh, it's a deadbolt system uh, that you can control uh, through the through this whole system. It, everything that you're going to see on this box, it all comes together. Basically, it all works together as, as one. So basically, that's a smart lock. It's a deadbolt to protect uh, people from get, basically getting in and out via door. We've got motion sensors. So if somebody does get in and are walking around, this will pick up their motion, which will trigger the alarm. Another motion sensor. So we've got two of them there. We've got another smart lock right there. Then we've got some entry sensors, which these you put on doors, windows, whatever it might be. They literally just stick on the door opens up the alarm goes off if the window slides up it goes off so you've got a bunch of those you've got a panic button you could keep this on your nightstand in your bedroom you hear something you got a panic button right here you've got a freezing sensor you can track the temperature inside your home you could put it next to like anything to do with plumbing to make sure your pipes don't freeze and stuff like that they've also got stuff like carbon monoxide detectors so this is something that you know you would probably set up in your home this isn't necessarily going to apply to the vault idea but setting this up in your home will keep you and your entire family safe they've got a simple cam video doorbell so this is something that you put at the front of your house somebody rings your doorbell there's a camera it shows up you can see who's at your door before you even go to answer the door this thing is one of my favorite things out of this everything that's in this box this is awesome uh, it, plus you can kind of just keep an eye on things uh, your front door I mean that's obviously probably the first place that somebody's gonna go investigate and look at and this will help you keep you safe and then we've got two of these guys these are simply cams so these are legitimate video surveillance cameras you can stick them up anywhere so I'm gonna put one inside the shop and on the outside outside of the shop. That way I can see if somebody pulls in and I can see if somebody gets in, I can keep an eye on it that way. So we've got Simply Cams, we've got two of them. So we're gonna install those uh, for the, the Pew Pew Vault uh, for today and on the outside of the shop so I can see people coming down my driveway and stuff like that. They also have a smoke detector similar to the carbon monoxide detector. It's just something to keep your family, you and your family safe inside of your home, uh, which would be good. I mean, this could also be used in the shop. That way if a fire breaks out randomly, uh, I'll know about it, it'll go off. So then last but not least, they give you these. This is out of everything in the box this is going to be your number one protector this is a d deterrent somebody pulls up and sees this in your yard they ain't messing with your house or any of your possessions or property because they know you're strapped son you know what i'm saying so that's everything we got big shout out to simple safe for sponsoring today's video like i said we're going to use a bunch of this stuff here to protect the new project which is the vault that is inside the shop home security shop security vault security any type of security is super super important so do yourself a favor click the link down below go check out simply safe 
and protect you, your family, your loved ones, and your property. Now, with that being said, we are gonna take all these things, go to the shop, and get to building. It might take a few days to get this project done. Like I said, my dad and my uncle, we got Pool Jet and Banjo, Beefcake Construction LLC. We're gonna see if we can build this vault, and once it's complete, we are gonna rig it up fully with security so we don't have to worry about it. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! What's going on, folks? Well, we've made it to the store dreams are made of. We are going to Home Depot today. To start on the next project. Beefcake Construction LLC Banjo. We are here. It's coming. How's that? You got to you got to figure it out there, Jim, or what? Hello. I know you got it. You got it. Anyways, Beefcake Construction LLC is getting fired. I need to lock my truck though. All right, we're good. Anyway, so we are building a pew pew vault inside the shop today. That is the plan. And we've got to get all the lumber, materials, and stuff like that. Actually, my dad's actually gonna come out and help us build it because okay. Papa Beefcake's coming because Beefcake Construction LLC. Well, we're a little underqualified for this project. I mean, normally we usually wing it, but that it's being in built inside of my shop which was built by professionals i want everything in it to look look decent at least so i don't really want to like rely on myself or these two lovely gentlemen here to make it look good so papa beefcake's gonna be coming a little bit later uh and he's gonna help build it mainly the framing i'm not really good at framing i've never framed anything before so help us with that drywall he's really good at that too and i suck at that uh, pretty, i actually i suck at everything uh, i can probably paint maybe we can probably do we can probably we could hang osb and paint i've seen you with the spray paint can you can't do that anymore. oh yeah true well we will we'll, we'll be rolling it we'll be rolling it well, I mean, we might even get a sprayer. What if we did that? That'd be kind of fancy. That'd be kind of fancy. So, anyways, we're gonna run inside and grab all the materials that we're going to need to build a really secured pew pew vault inside the shop. That way, we've got a spot to put all the pews, and they're not out in the elements and stuff like that, and they're all protected. It's gonna be a fun time. I, I don't know if we're gonna make this multiple parts or just one, uh, but it should be a really good video for you guys. So you guys stay tuned. Put them back. I need that shot. I know. All right, go ahead. So we got two, <laughs> we got two pounds. Yep. Right there of number six, one and a quarter inch drywall screws. You love drywall, don't you? I can tell. You know what happened? Oh, that was actually insulation. That wasn't drywall. Oh, well, yeah, it was kind of, we drywall, didn't yeah, we? we did, yeah, we did. It was a little bit of both. Yeah. Fun story. Uh, when I, I built a house like, I don't know, two years ago and the garage wasn't like fully insulated. Like they insulated some of it, but then they left some and I wanted to insulate it. And so I invited Banjo over to help me and like my dad and brother were out there, I think. And Banjo was up on the top of like an eight foot ladder. And he, were you screwing? What were you doing? There was a like loose nail. Okay. And so I had a, like the back of the hammer yeah. taken off and I finally got it and the momentum boom literally he literally head. he sent it off an eight foot ladder and fell like flat on his back basically onto a concrete floor in my garage i was seeing stars oh like, i'm aware i had to like sit down i'm no, pretty sure i was concussion no you weren't there for like the next yeah. week after that but, I got uh yeah you didn't actually i i did i gave you something i gave you a scope for that didn't i yeah i gave you a hunting scope for yeah, that my AR scope. anyways so that's again why beefcake construction llc needs help from papa beefcake because <laughs> last time he tried to drywall in insulation he fell off the top of a ladder. If we had a vlog in there, that would have been that would have yeah. been a good time. So, anyways, we got screws. Now on to drywall. So we need seven. I think he only said seven. I feel like we need more than seven. Oh, because we weren't gonna do the back wall, or should we do the back wall? Uh, so we we were trying to figure out the back wall because it's already sprayed and painted. Yeah. To leave it bare, the only problem with leaving it bare is like then you can't put you can't put you stuff can't on, anything on it, right? Not necessarily. You could if you just ran like two by fours across, kind of like how we did the pegboards. I'd rather have you want it to be completely have, finished. Because then you'd have three full sides and you could put all your racks yeah, we, or whatever. Yeah, you we'd want have three full. Because so we're, right now we're thinking about eight eight by eight by eight. So you're gonna walk in. So it's basically like this. You're gonna walk in. You want the pews here, or would you care if they're on that wall? I mean, I don't care. Because I think we're, we don't need more than one wall, one wall yeah. with pews. So but my I feel thought, like, I feel like if you already finish it, you'll have like more opportunities to do something down the road. Probably. Like if you want to mount your ducks there on true, that wall. True. True. I don't know. Maybe. I, don't, I feel like if we're already going this far. Yeah. It's not much more expensive or much more time to do it. To, to just to because we're all to, we'll to frame another wall, put it up, do it. The only problem is then you're gonna have to pull your outlet because all your outlets are on that back wall. That's your only down. I know that sounds like a pain. I my thought was leave it bare and just build workbenches and just don't worry about hanging anything. Workbenches and then you're gonna have all your hang space there and all your hang space there and you're gonna have like a six foot wall right here because yeah. we're gonna put the door on a corner. That's fine. If okay. there wasn't outlets, I'd be like, let's the do outlet. I don't want to move outlets. That's all right, that sounds like a pain. So I think we need seven. Sorry, we're this this whole video is gonna be like planning it as we're doing it and you guys probably can't hear me with this thing on, but so I think we need seven of these things. Phew! 
why we did the drywall first, I don't know. But drywall, check. All right, so this is the framing lumber we're gonna go with. We've got two by four by 10. This is uh, pine, I think, or something. And we need 18 of these guys. And then we need three, I think, eight footers. So let's get it loaded up. About as straight as band, but we're good. framing done i've got some scraps there's still some that we're gonna need uh some two by sixes for headers for the doors and stuff like that but i've already got some of that at home so now time to load up some osb Shoo! osb is done that was really loud uh osb is done why am i out of breath i don't know but what else do we need we got that done oh we need uh three two by fours eight foot long that's treated that's for the sill how long i think that's for the floor is that what that means the sill sil ceiling sill oh sil. they said ceiling so we need three of them which means eight by eight bikes we're not doing that back well that's why there's three mm. see pop a beefcake he knows what he's doing let's go get those oh, we need a door we need a whole steel door too steel steel yeah, we gotta protect the pews banjo. Also, if you guys feel like breaking in after I show you guys where I'm storing my pews, just know, one, it's guarded by Simply Safe. Two, I don't keep every pew in there. I make sure I keep some pews to protect the other pews if you get what I'm getting at. So just, just giving you guys a warning right now. Don't even think about it. Anyways, uh, you like that? Sound more like a challenge to me. That's fine. <laughs> oh, okay, let's change the subject. Really? Oh. All right, let's just go get that. Really? Buddy, <laughs> this kid says ceiling one more time. <laughs> Papa Beefcake's gonna be like, why do you employ these guys? And I'll be like, honestly, I don't even know why I'm doing this. This is, none of us are qualified. I think we honestly just need some nails and screws. Little things. We got the bulk of it though. So, see you guys back at the house. Shoo! Right there, baby. We got everything we needed. Well, it's the next day. Uh, we kind of got sidetracked yesterday after we went to the store, had some stuff to take care of, but we're back. This is the load that we brought back, the drywall, the OSB. We got a door. You guys can see us get the door. Lots of lumber. We got some other stuff. We're pretty much ready to rock and roll. Banjo's excited. Beefcake LLC. We're getting after it this one. Why are they like this? Holy cow, what are you doing, dog? Don't do that. Hey, who broke my dogs? Can you guys not? Hey. For two seconds. Hey. Hey, I'm trying to talk here. Hey. Why are you so large? Why Lucy, like why are you so large? Anyways, we are getting started today. It is uh, it's building day, construction day. We are ready to rock and roll. So as you guys saw earlier, this is kind of the setup that we're looking at. Basically this beam to this beam, we're gonna have to move some lights. Um, again, that's where Papa Beefcake comes into play because I don't really know how to do that. Um, but the idea is, I mean, at least we'll be able to learn a little bit. So we're gonna have to move some lights around to make sure our wall doesn't uh, smash that light. We also need to move this stuff out of the way. That sick saw that I bought, never used. Should we use it today? Should we? Should we? Oh yeah, we didn't hook it up so i wouldn't trust using it actually now that i remember yeah we could always hook it up that way that way we're cutting i mean we have two places to cut that way two people could cut at one time the idea is we're gonna see how honestly how fast we can build this my dad's coming and my uncle's actually coming too and he's really good at construction and stuff like that so they're probably honestly it's gonna be them two building it and me and banjo and pull jet are gonna be here for support at this point i mean we might like paint or something but like these two guys they really know how to build some stuff and so they're gonna come and the idea is we're gonna get this knocked out today one day built in I don't know. I'm hoping eight hours or so. Um, right now, it's almost 8.30 in the morning. So we'll give you guys kind of time checks and updates throughout the day as far as what we're gonna have to do. But first things first, we need to clear all this out. And then once that's done, we're gonna unload some of the wood. And then, I mean, I think the first step to building this thing is to frame. So you guys stay tuned.
Do a lot of work right there or what? Doing good things. Really? Things meetings, actually. Yeah, you've done that. Where's your, where's your pods at? I broke them. So I got new ones. Really? I didn't bring the new ones. How much work really? did you do on this? Uh, not much, no. You guys might be wondering why uh, you didn't see us in the time lapse. Uh, it's because we weren't... Well, we were present, but not physical labor present, notes. I guess you should say. But as you can see right here, we've got it all framed in. Well, we as in my dad and uncle, but it's all framed, this whole thing. So this is kind of what you guys can see it looking like now. There's a door right in the middle, and then everything else is framed. This is the part, especially the part that I knew I would mess up, especially after watching them do it. Like, there's just no possible way that we would have done it the correct way. Uh, so it is framed. Now this is when we can kind of step in a little bit. Uh, we're going to put OSB on the outside, and then we'll put drywall on the inside. We are not insulating it, but Banjo found a a couple dehumidifiers that we can stick in there to prevent the rust and then hang the doors and then basically tape and mud. Really, there's not, oh yeah, we gotta paint it too. Yeah, we gotta paint the outside. That's that's your job. You're the big painting guy. Really? Yeah, so now that it's framed, this was the hardest part, I think. It took the most time. So now it's pretty much just cutting OSB drywall, sticking up and it's going pretty quick. So you gotta stay tuned. Look at this. All this drywall in here is complete. Well, we got, we still got a tape in my, well, we've already taped a lot of it. Still need to mud it, um, but it's looking really good. You can see the one light in here. I redid the electrical earlier on. If you saw in the time lapse, we had to kind of space some of these uh, lights out, but we're pretty much done in here. Um, again, we just needed to tape a little bit of it, mud it. We're probably not gonna get to paint this today because we're gonna have to let the mud dry. What do you think, Banjo? I've but, helped a lot today. Yeah, I was gonna say, you guys, Again, you're gonna see us not in the time. I mean, we're, we're about to start painting though on the outside, which we can handle that. What, what grade did you get in our class? A plus. Okay, me too. So <laughs> that's, actually, our class, was, I think it was the only class that like I, I actually think I failed once. I think I've ever failed a class. I think it might've been close. Maybe you got like a D I or C. I can't draw, I can paint my straight. You can paint, you can paint. So we're gonna get to painting here soon on the outside, but the mud is gonna have to dry. So it just kind of depends on timing. By the time the mud dries, I mean, then you have to kind of sand it. So we're probably gonna shoot for painting this later, tomorrow or the next day, whatever it might be. But we can get the whole outside painted at least today and get this whole thing mudded, taped, ready to go to where all we gotta do is paint the inside. And then we gotta hang, look, we're gonna have walls of pews, walls of pews. And we've got other space here. So this is the wall. I mean, you would think walking in, your pews would be here, which again, would be ideal. The problem is if we had a frame in a wall, we would have had to move these guys. And I was just too lazy to do that. Um, we also, I mean, you can, you could figure out a way to do it. You could, I mean, you could run some support beams and stuff and stuff like that. We might end up doing it. Um, but my kind of initial thought is to have some shelving where you have got a mat where you clean your pews and then you rest your pews on maybe this wall or this wall. And then this wall, maybe we'll have some shelves for, I don't know, like duck hunting decoys, coyote decoys, like, 
I mean, more of just hunting stuff. It's not like a hunting room. I think we should do a beefcake sign right here. You like that? Yeah. The beefcake vault? Yeah. You like it? I like it. All like neon, like all, all glowed up right there? Yeah. You can also, this actually wouldn't be the best spot for mount. You want to put some mounts in here yeah. or something? Not a bad duck idea. Mount, duck mounts. But there's your update. I know we're doing a lot of time lapses and B-rolls, not a whole lot of explaining. I mean, I, I would explain to you guys how to build this if I knew. I mean, you, you frame simple walls. If you guys want to look up like how to finish a basement and you know they talk about framing walls or just framing walls in general that's all we're doing framing and the drywall and then we put osb on the outside the reason we put osb on the outside is because it's stronger again someone tries to break in here at some point they're going to have a little bit tougher time getting through osb as they would drywall and then we're going to paint the osb white we got some white paint and then the inside everything's going to be white it's going to look really good so you guys stay tuned <laughs> Look at this thing, folks. This is, I'll give you guys a little backup version view of it. Look at that. Boom. Literally. It's a, uh, I mean, it's a pew pew room. You come in here, still need to work on the handles. We're working on it. This stuff's drying out in here, but here's the inside. Everything is taped and mudded. Uh, my uncle's gonna come back actually out tomorrow, do a second layer of mud on some of like the thicker parts and then sand it. And then we're gonna paint the inside. And then we've got to hang up pew pew racks, shelving, um, all that stuff like that. But we are gonna make this a one part video. And it's gonna be a long one. So just buckle up your seatbelt. If you're not buckled up yet, it's gonna be a long one. It's gonna be a doozy. It's gonna be a good time, but it looks good. Banjo, what do you think? I like it. Way this is where this was your guys' office chair for the day, wasn't it? Yeah, true. And yes. mine, and mine too. I sat right there yeah. too. I, as you guys saw, we didn't do any, and I, I didn't really like want it to go that way. Like I, my dad was just gonna come out and help, and basically him and my uncle, Papa Beefcake and Uncle Beefcake, they pretty much just knocked it out themselves. I mean, we painted so that. I mean, we didn't do too bad of a job painting, but they pretty much knocked it out. We got it done in a total of a little less than eight hours. Done, start to finish, the whole thing framed, drywall on the inside, OSB on the outside, two coats of paint. Like I said, we just got to paint the inside, and then we're gonna do some shelving and. And the pew pews we, we've got a simply safe handle that's going to go there and we're going to put another one over there and uh those are going to be on there so they're going to be the smart locks where you can lock it from your phone and stuff like that so stay tuned see you guys tomorrow or whenever we get around to getting the rest of this done but so far so good you guys stay tuned Shoo! Well, folks, it's been a couple days now. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed all the time lapses. It wasn't a lot of vlogging. We had a lot of work to get done. We wanted to make sure we got it done that day, and we did. Big shout out to my dad and my uncle for coming out. They basically did all the work, as you guys saw, but we did paint it on the inside off camera. This is now what it looks like. You can see, I mean, it's, it's actually a pretty good sized room. It really is. Uh, so we've got, it's all white, perfectly painted, pretty much done, ready to go, except obviously it's missing one thing. That would be the old pew. So we've got these things. Can I help you guys? What is that strat? Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. There, hey, can you quit walking on this? Can you, hey, can you stop? So this is, these are all the boards we are going to be, if the dogs wouldn't ruin it. These are all the boards we're gonna be hanging up. These are tactical walls. They're basically walls designed to hold pews. And we've got some attachments and stuff like that. So we have six of them. I don't know if we're gonna use all six today. Um, I think we could probably put four per wall. So you could do four here, four here, but I, I got six. I wasn't sure if we wanted to do six per wall or what we wanted to do. But either way, we're just gonna focus on, you want it this, this side, you like that side? Okay, so we'll focus on this side. This wall 
wall will be done today and we may work on that wall once I get some more pews. Right now, I we'll just see what we can fit on, on one wall. We might end up building this wall today just depending on how many pew pews we can fit on one. So with that being said, we need to find the studs. You know what I'm saying? Where's that stud finder at? There we go. We got yes, the old, we got the old stud finder. It's so. a bougie one. Dude, this thing yeah, it's got it's deep wood normal wood, deep wood, I beams, and electrical. And it does this thing, so it's like Oh, it we, 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 it's not broken. That was a good dad joke. You know that was a good dad joke classic. So, so this thing we got to do one of these. I think that's it's loading, and now it's ready to. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. That's the old center, dude. Okay, cool. Let it load. I don't know why it's got to do that. Go, go, go. I don't know if they did 16 on center or what. They did 24 on center. I don't even know. Definitely not 16. There's got to be something. Really, really. This thing's neat. I like this thing. Oh, I found one. How'd you miss it? I, I just don't think I know how to use this thing. I found one right here. Well, we've got the old studs figured out, so we're gonna take this long level and run some vertical lines just so we don't miss. We don't want to be missing. And then we're gonna grab these old things and see if we can get them hung up and get the fuse on. So you guys stay tuned. Beefcake Construction LLC here. Uh, we made this thing eight feet on the outside walls. Inside walls, seven. And these things are 48 inches. Times two would be eight. So the inside walls are about seven. So right now we need to cut it down to 32. I don't know if you're supposed to cut these things. You're probably not. Um, we're gonna give her a heck though. Beefcake Construction LLC, we always got uh, solutions to problems here. So we're gonna try to rip this guy down to 32. Stick it on there, that way we get a full wall. Otherwise, I, uh, yeah, I just, I messed up. I ordered these for an eight foot wall and thinking, oh, this whole thing's eight foot, inside seven. So we're gonna cut, let's rip, let's rip this side. So flip your, flip your measure. I can't do that math to figure out the difference there. 32? Yep. Oh, well it's here. Okay. Let's just, I'll just cut up there. Cut on that. Yeah. Oh, we're good. Killed it. Looking for the vacuum? Holy f I literally, I literally pointed at Ty and I was like, I wasn't gonna say anything and he said something. I wanted to see how long you looked. Dude, I would have walked over there. I would have walked outside. I, I would have called my neighbor before I saw that one. We'll, just be, we'll be smart vacuum it up. I was about to just blow it all off, but you might as well vacuum it while it's here. Suck it up, Banjo. Alright, cool. You got inside. Freaking sick. All right, let's hang this one up and see what happens. Let's see if my cutting skills are up to par. Shoo! Oh, yeah, we got plenty of room. Thank All right, you wanna pop some screws in? Yep. See, that's your problem with the... But you can always pop one in that a corner. It'll hold, I mean, it'll hold in dry. Yeah. It's trying to hold weight, but it, it'll keep it from it, rocking. From sliding, at least. I mean, if you have a screw in all these... I don't think it's too I would just say just keep it with handguns and magazines and clips and stuff like that, and don't don't put ARs yeah. on this. Just put all your ARs here and put all your handguns here. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, just yeah of kind of botched on the design. Actually, if I would have just left it long, the only reason why I went so short is because we have an outlet and I'm too lazy to move it. We should have just moved it originally. So I flushed up here, we could have ran a strip of screws there, but we'll be all right. I'm not too worried about it. Let's get a, uh, let me, let me pop a couple more. Do you want to grab a couple of the excess, like the, the hanging? Just let's make sure. Yeah, which box? Is that this box? Yeah, it should be that box. Just to make sure like, you know, we didn't read instructions, you know, so make sure we can actually get something in there. Well, we got it looking good. We got one wall up. We've made the executive decision. We are gonna order some more of these tactical walls and fill this wall and this wall. I think this is not gonna hold as many pews as I was expecting. Pews are bigger than I expected. Uh, but we're gonna fill this wall up completely today. We have two more boards, but we're gonna wait because those are 
for those are four foot and then we have seven foot walls so i'm going to see if they've got some different size ones um to make the second and the third wall a little bit easier otherwise we can rip those it's not that big of a deal but we originally not going to do anything here we're going to throw shelves up um but what we were thinking is take a two by four and so here are the two by sixes and then run a vertical two by four to attach these to there so it'd be gun wall gun wall gun wall and then below you see we left a three foot gap where we'll have shelving 360 for ammunition and stuff like that then that's a full-on gun room i mean that is just the whole thing is full of pews which is good so now we've got all these i mean this is gadgets and gizmos and you got a magnet really yee, Ooh, that'll pinch your finger oh. off yee oh my. so this is this is a is that an ak1 which does it tell you i didn't say it i couldn't figure it out it looks that? thin maybe that's for an ar i was just gonna try it out so basically you take this you go into these two holes oh does it act like your bag yeah and then you then you set your gun on top of it oh we gotta back these up. we gotta back these out oh i see okay that makes sense so we gotta unscrew these and then we'll see if we can get a pew to sit on top of it too it looks like oh yeah it does yep oh. see i knew it was curved so i was like it's gotta yeah. be the ak right look Look at that. That is cool. Dude, this is stable. This is epic. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a little bit wobbly. You could tighten it down a little bit more, but it's definitely gonna hold it. Oh my gosh, that's that's probably Nate right there. So this is where it's where it gets hard because you gotta figure out where you want stuff, you know? I like that you can just slide it wherever though. Yeah, that's you can cool. literally move. The thing is, once it's in that track, you have to take out some whatever's in that track to move it around because we botched that side by taking out this, which we didn't really have a choice at that point, but it's not, you could always re-drill holes. So let's let's get all the accessories out there where we want. Let's Definitely light load that side. So handguns, magazines, stuff like that. And then this will be the gun. See, bigger ones. Big daddies. Let's see what we can make, make this look like. You guys stay tuned. The old AR-15, AR-10, that's a 6.5 Creedmoor, AK, 9 mil, 380, 12 gauge, 22, 22, 308, with a bunch of shells. So these are the remaining pews, 12 gauge, 10 gauge, 22, 410, 12 gauge, 22 mag. Is that all my pews? Really? Well, we could definitely fit the rest on one more wall. I mean, we're, with what we have, we probably could make it work, but I would like to, if we're gonna go ahead and go through it, I wanna build it just like this, where it's two layers across. So I don't wanna put those up until I can go see if I can get some resized ones. So now I'm thinking, do we wanna put one on that back wall? Do we need it? I mean, we could eventually do it, but for now with the pews that I have, I thought, for some reason I, in my head, I thought I had more pews than this. This thing actually held quite a bit. I mean, you, you you could fit the, I mean, you can see we space these out because we wanted to be able to grab them easy. I mean, you could easily put four AR styles there like we did kind of there. I mean, you could put a bunch of handguns up there and we've got shelves that we didn't even use that we'll end up using on the other one. But this is kind of what we're starting with. So if you guys have any other design ideas, let me know in the comment section down below. But we are not done. We've got one last thing. We got to protect these precious bad boys. So with that being said, we need to install our complete Simply Safe security system inside the Pew Pew Vault to secure it. Uh, so no bad guys can get in there and steal the pews. You guys stay tuned. We are back, folks. We are ready to wrap this whole project up. I know it's been a long video. I know it's taken multiple days to get this done, but I didn't really want to piece it out into multiple parts. I wanted to give you all the good stuff in just one episode. So we've got all the Simply Safe stuff that we've, we're we going to use for today. We're going to get it set up right here, right now, ready to get laid out and install to give this the optimum security uh, to make sure we don't have any issues with people breaking. So what we've got is we've got the base station. That's key. That basically makes all this run. We've got a camera that we're going to set up. We've got the keypad. So what the keypad does is basically that's like on the inside of your house if you open your door your alarm goes off it's your deactivate it's your hey i'm about to leave hit the away button and, hey it's your home hit the home button a bunch of other stuff like that so basically it's just kind of like a hub um that you can go in and control and stuff like that so then we've got the water sensor so i am going to put that in here because we are in a garage and the water from outside does run to here it kind of stops out there but if we got some massive rains big snow melts stuff like that there's a good chance we could get some moisture in here potentially so we are going to put that in there just because i don't want moisture getting into the pew pew room we've got a glass break sensor so as you see we've got a window right next to it so if anyone's gonna break a window to get in here, it's probably gonna be this back one because they're gonna know they're the closest access to the vault. So we're gonna put a glass break system here. Um, that way we lock this, but if they wanna shatter it, it'll go off and set the alarm off. And then we also have two motion sensors that we can set up. And I'll, honestly, I'll probably put the motion sensors outside, maybe one inside, maybe probably not one inside there, maybe one inside there. But yeah, let's do one inside. One inside and then one like on the back patio area over there. And then these are the door sensors, the window sensors, whatever it is. So we have 
four of them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one on that door, one on this door, and then the other two on the garage doors because garage doors aren't that hard to break into. Uh, so it, it could be one a very easy entry point if somebody could just bust through it. So I wanna make sure an alarm goes off if any of the main doors, including the two garage doors, go off. So we're gonna go ahead and get these guys installed and ready to rock and roll, and you guys stay tuned. All right, so right here we've got the Simply Safe base station set up, plugged in. You can see that's blinking right there. It is ready to go. So that's the first step. Plug that thing and get the app, get everything kind of set up, and then everything else will kind of connect with it. So now that that's working, let's get everything else installed, starting with the camera. Boom, right here we've got the camera, and you can see it's blinking. It is on. We've got this nice outlet right here, so it stays nice and powered and does have a motion sensor on there. So you know if somebody walks in here that it's going to capture it, so that's facing right at that door. So if anybody does make it past the few levels of security somehow, if that door gets open, say cheese, because we got a camera on you. So camera is a big thing because obviously even if somebody breaks in, you don't have them on camera, they get away, then I don't know how you're going to, you're not going to find them. So cameras are super, super important. So next thing that we're going to do is run around and set up these sensors. So activate the battery, peel off these little sticky things. So the nice thing about these is you can just peel and stick them literally anywhere. All right, so stick that guy right there, press that guy on, and then you're gonna take this, and if you see it blinking blue like it is, then you know that the sensor's working. So it's not blinking, see how it's blinking? Now it's blinking. So go ahead and set that right there, press that on, just like that. So that way, if I shut it, it should blink blue. Yep, there you go. Somebody opens that, the alarm's immediately gonna go off. So we're gonna go ahead and set up a couple other places. So we're gonna do the same thing with the door, the entrance to the shop, because obviously that's gonna be the first point of entrance. Uh, so this will it, this will basically deter them before they even get to the vault. Um, so this is also important. Any type of entry, you can do windows, anything like that. So kind of the same strat. I usually go upper corner, press it, make sure it stays. And then same thing with this, make sure it blinks blue, yep. That way it's receiving the signal and stick it right there. Just like that. As soon as I sh go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You got it, you got it. As soon as I shut, it should blink blue and you're good to go. So two down. All right, so we're gonna place it on the garage door. This is not a super conventional location. It's gonna be kind of tough to make it work, but I think we can do it. So try setting it. All right, so press that in. Oh yeah, we're money. Yep, we're good. All right, so stick it right on that piece of wood. Yep, we're good. Planks blue. Boom! Garage door done. All right, so let's grab the last sensor. We're gonna throw it on there, and then we're gonna start putting some motion sensors up. So this right here is a motion sensor. So we do have the camera over there. That's got also got a motion sensor, but for extra precaution, we're gonna smack this baby right here. Press it against the wall a little bit, and we're good. He's fixed on there. So that way it's looking at this direction of the camera. That way it's kind of like a X formation. That way if somebody sneaks in and runs really quick, something's gonna catch it. One of the two is gonna get the burglar. So motion sensor one. Done. Motion sensor number two, we want to angle it at the front door to the shop. So we're actually going to do a kind of a weird spot here, but it does have adhesive almost 360 on these things. So you can take it, stick it right there. So it's literally pointing directly at the front door. So go at Banjo, act like a, act like a robber for us. Let's see, let's see it in, in motion here. So Banjo walks in. Well, first off, that top is going to get you and the motion's going to get you and you're just, cops are on the way, you know what I mean? So you're, you're toast. So, motion, done. So this is the glass alarm. So, being the window next to the vault, we're gonna stick it right here. And it doesn't mean that it's only this window that breaks. If any of these other windows break, this will also go off, but we're gonna stick it right here since this is more than likely gonna be the entrance window that somebody might use. So, stick it right there. That way, if somebody tries to get in, now it's locked, they break the glass, alarm still goes off. This little guy right here, this is the water sensor. I don't want water getting in here, so, easy. Set it and forget it, folks. Water gets in, it's gonna let me know. So this is the keypad. So this is gonna be the control. You can turn it off, you can say you're home, you can say you're leaving. So if I'm leaving, I'm gonna leave town, whatever it might be, I hit away. It will secure this entire building, every single sensor, every single camera, motion sensor, everything will be locked down. So if anyone opens a door, breaks glass, whatever it might be, water gets in, I will know about it. So we're gonna go ahead and stick it right here up against this wall. Oh yeah, I don't. Make sure this one sticks good, because this you don't want this one falling off. What? That comes off. Go ahead and press these adhesive ones on that. Basically, it'll just sit down on top of that, just like that. So we're gonna take this off, press the edge, just click navigate, boom! Installation progress. So now, we're gonna get everything set up on this thing. And like I said, this is basically the control panel. So if I open this door and the alarm starts going off, I can deactivate it. Super easy. They press the button on design. a device to test and name. Yo, this thing's lit. You can't hear it, the, the little home device guy, the, the station, the home station, said entry device detected. So you can, so I can say, okay, cool. This is the front door, right? Set it as the front door and it's the entry sensor's been named. How about that? So on this thing, we just hit the away button. Everything's set up, connected. We have 45 seconds to exit. Andrew, you wanna be burglar? 
Sure. Get out there. We're gonna see. We're gonna see what this sounds like when it goes off. You got a guard dog too. Am I not nailed? We don't need you to guard the house anymore, buddy. We're protected. Oh, you got. Oh, it reset. Sorry, you got 45 seconds now. How loud do you think this alarm's gonna be? I don't know. It might be kind of. I think our ears are gonna bleed. Oh, it's it's. Will the motion get us behind us if I move? Oh, I didn't think of that. I don't move. <laughs> All right, Banjo, open the door. Oh, it's telling me to enter the pen. It's gonna explode if I don't. What if I don't? Is it gonna call the cops? Eh, we'll find out. Should I enter it? Nah, no, no, no. I wanna what if it calls the cops? That's you just fine. cancel it. Just be like, I was testing my system. I just put it in. Front door entry alarm trigger. All right, I'm gonna enter my pen. Don't look. Alarm off. What if the cops show up? I'm gonna tell them to rest banjo. Hell That's yeah. That's fine. There you have it, folks. Well, we tested it. It worked. It said front entry alarm. We've got the motion sensors. Everything else is secured, ready to rock and roll to where nobody can break into the shop and nobody can break into the brand new vault. So huge shout out to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. Click the link down below. Go to my special link if you guys want to learn more information about Simply Safe and protect your house, your family, your belongings, everything for super, super cheap and effective. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.